Why are you playing this game, Gabe? Why you no play Elden Ring? You right. The boss beatdown. Dark Souls. Iron Golem. Ready? A go! So you went through Blight Town and rang the second bell of Woke, and now it's time for Sun's Funhouse. Yeah. So you're pulling up to the fortress. First trap button, literally five feet from the door. I'm a snack. Little statues of enemy foreshadowing. And as soon as you walk into this place, it's a mess. Big swinging blades, cages, more snake boys, a narrow path. Mmm, pain. Maybe the stuff at the bottom isn't so bad. Oh. What's even better is the floor is all sticky with tar. The rusty ring comes to the rescue once again, and you can actually move. You got a bunch of titty night demons, and there's nothing down here, so I need to go back and run for my life. The cobra boys like to spit lightning at you. Oh, what's this? Wall butthole? Wall butthole shoot you when you push button? Much bad. Avoid? Use on snakes? Yes. This guy's sleeping on the job. So you got this big old cocoa puff rolling down and pasting anything in its path. If you time your running, you can avoid getting pancaked, and you can explore the funhouse a little bit. Oh, there you are, Siegmeier. More wall buttholes, more snakes, more cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I mean, this is lovely. We always go to such nice places. On this rickety wood platform, you can find some more stuff around here, including a nice ring. There's actually quite a few rings in this place now that I think about it. At the bottom of the Cocoa Puff Bowl, we got a secret area here with a chest that, uh... Hmm. Aha! Don't get eaten or fucking drop kicked by the mimic. There's a lift here that you can use with a very interesting paint job. Make sure to get off at the top right away. Back over here, the Cocoa Puffs will start stacking until it breaks the wall. In here, you can get one of the bling rings in this building. Actually, the bling ring of the game. This is what happens when you sleep on the job, buddy boy. I really wonder why they call him Big Hat Logan. But yeah, this fella's stuck and you need the key to get him out. Oh, come the... Just give me a bonfire, man. You might want to move quickly unless you want to get dumpstered by that not-so-gentle giant chucking shit at you. Salvation down below. So a couple things of note. If you go all the way to the tip top of this building, you can actually reach and kill the giant that's been trolling you. Also, I'm pretty sure he continues to throw shit at you while you're fighting the boss, so you might want to get rid of his ass right away. The crestfallen merchant up here sells you some pretty good stuff, from what I remember, at least. Got that tasty green. Even more rings. Large titanite shards to upgrade your stuff even further. He also has the whole... Oh! Yo! Oh man, this is awesome. It can't get any better than the- <gasps> Yo! This was worth every penny. It's not Siegmeier's sword. However, don't care, didn't ask, Daddy Tarkus Blade is big PP energy. Down here, the key to Logan. Additionally, you got these cages here, and I wonder if you could do something like, mm, I don't know, use it as an elevator to get back to Andre and upgrade your shit without having to endure the funhouse again? Yes, you can. Also, if you go this way with these Chungus Knights, you will encounter Ricard with his bow and rapier. Dead. More stuff. Don't forget to search the place. There's other stuff here and there as well. So you're more or less up to speed. You killed that giant and discovered that the Cocoa Puffs are actually more like those Wonder Balls. All that's left is the boost. Mm, yes, I can see you from here. Maybe I can whip out my bow and hit you with one of these. Okay, maybe not. Now there's a lot of different ways you can serve the Dark Souls special of cheese. The best way is to just let Daddy Tarkus fight for you. But we're gonna take this thing head on solo. Let's go smash a giant metal trash can, shall we? So right out the gate, Biggin's over there is gonna try whipping some aggressive air at you. Depending on where you're placed, results may vary. The Iron Golem's fighting moves include side chop, upwards chop, chop chop, here comes the giant fist, squashing some grapes, big ol' backstep, and you're the football after the golem got a touchdown. The hardest part about this boss isn't even the boss, it's the arena. I'd call this space confined, but there aren't really any walls to call it confined, which is the big hazard. If you get caught lacking, the... The, the golem? Did I really have that on my script? Oh, fucking sake. The, the golem can just rock your shit and send you flying. However, this arena can also work in your favor. See, hitting the golem enough times will cause it to lose its balance. If you're positioned well enough, you could send him falling too. Targeting the big boy is up to you. Just watch your step. And honestly, even if you forgo the cheese and take the full force of the fight, despite being an iron golem, he's not that tough after all. And then boom, you beat the iron golem. Make sure all your gear is good to go. Touch this tiny Elden ring in the aftermath of the golem, get abducted by some creepy pale things, and you're going to Disneyland slash world. Final verdict? Tarkus. Next time, the dynamic duo, baby. Special thanks to all of the patrons on the Papagate Patreon, including our newest member, Assassin Wombat. If you liked what you saw here, please feel free to leave a like, maybe subscribe, have that notification bell on for future videos. Thank you so much.